what will win in a drag race between my Audi R8 Spider daily driver, a BMW M8 competition convertible, and the new Mercedes AMG SL63. Well, we're going to find out by racing them over the standing quarter mile. I'm Matt Watson, and you're watching Car Wow. Right, let me tell you about this Audi. So just behind me is a rather glorious 5.2 litre natural aspirated V10 engine that puts out 620 horsepower and 580 newton meters of torque. And it drives all four wheels via a seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox. This thing weighs in at 1.7 tons and new 167,000 pounds. Though this one is a little bit more expensive because I went for a unique exterior color which i think looks awesome and really works well with the brown interior and the brown roof and i drive it pretty much everywhere with the roof down which makes you wonder why have i got the roof up now it's because it's peeing with rain before i explain what we're going to do let's find out about that bmw hello rory how are you hey matt lovely day outside perfect day for convertibles what could go wrong yeah, I'm here sat in the BMW M8 convertible, 4.4 litre twin turbo V8 engine, 625 horsepower, 750 newton metres of torque, all wheel drive, eight speed automatic gearbox. It weighs around 2.1 tonnes and costs, I think when they're new, about 140,000 pounds. But I want to say another big thank you to DNA Auto House who've let us drive this one here today. Go to their website to check out how much it's on sale for. Okay, see how much they've depreciated by. Yeah, there's a link in the description. Maybe it's a bargain to pick up right now. Go check it out. I see you're wearing a cap. Now I'm wearing a an appropriate cap for this car. What is your cap? You're always wearing that cap. My Hennessy cap I left on the plane, unfortunately, but this is now an Oakley uh, cap. I'm not being paid by Oakley, but I happen to have this one on today. It's not a BMW cap, no, um, which is a bit of a shame. Another thing I've noticed is that even though we're in like two-seater convertibles, has yours got rear seats? Seats is a strong word. I mean, there are some little pews, yes, two of them. Okay, so this is just a strict two-seater. Yours is a two plus two. But I've got to say, you are sat so much higher than me. Yeah, I mean, it feels like an X5 compared to yours, but I guess this is a bit more of a GT car than, uh, than yours, which is, I guess, an outright supercar. That is a debate, right? Is the Audi R8 V10 a supercar? I'll put a pin comment. I want you to vote whether you think it's a supercar. Rory thinks it's a supercar. I think it's a supercar, but Yanni doesn't think it's a supercar. Let me know, right, in the pin comment. Get and vote. Speaking about ride height, um, Sam over in the Mercedes. Are you about the same height as Rory? In the M8. I think I'm a little bit lower. I think. Uh, yeah, maybe a couple of inches lower. A jiu-jitsu inch. So you've got a couple of inches less than Rory. Okay, it's good to know. Tell me about your car. I am sat in the AMG SL63, four litre twin turbo V8, 585 horsepower, 800 newton meters of torque, all wheel drive, nine speed auto. This weighs just under 2.1 tons, starts at 171,995 pounds. We actually don't know, this one's fully kitted out, so it's probably gonna be a little bit more than that. Out of all these cars, Sam, which one do you have? I have raced the GT3 and the GT4 version of these cars, albeit the coupes, so I, my heart says these. Though that was the previous generation car ride, that's, that's different. You, Rory? I know the people from DNA Auto House are standing behind me, so I'm going to say the BMW. Um, in terms of looks, I think the Mercedes, I think, is the best looking, but I mean, the best engine is the R8. There's no question about that. You think that Mercedes looks better than this R8? Are you crazy? Yeah, I quite like the new SL. I mean, it's more... I don't dislike the R8, to be fair, especially... In the green and the I gold. I can't listen to him anymore. I, I just can't listen to him anymore. I can't. That's just, like, unbelievable. Maybe stop talking now. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Right, do you know what we should do, though? Rather than discuss looks, let's discuss sound. So I'm going to rev up my V10, okay? I'm going to rev it up. <laughs> So this car actually redlines at eight and a half, but my my red line extends all the way to 3000 RPM when I'm revving it stationary. However, I'm gonna do the old trick -a of rev it with launch control. So I'll put it into drive now, have a listen. Then I can get all the way up to five. Mm. Right then, Rory, let's have a listen to your car. Five thousand RPM soft limiter. It sounds all right. 
Bizarrely, I think your car sounded better than mine when you're just revving it stationary, but not so good when I do my launch control lead. Go on, Sam, let's have a listen to the Mercedes. This is about to win this test. Soft limiter at 4,000, but I still think it wins even with that. I think this wins when you do the launch control. So put yours into launch control. Let's have a listen to your launch control rip. Is that launch control engaging? Is that race start? Yeah, that's race start, launch control. Nah, this sounds better. Let's see. Yours, Rory. You do yours. No, okay, listen. Rev in stationary, low launch control sound, Mercedes. If you're using the launch control, this Audi is the best in terms of noise. I think we should probably get on with this race. Before we do, if you like these kind of drag races, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. And I've got an amazing video coming very soon. You don't want to miss. So make sure you subscribe now. Subscribe, you know that? If you want to compare these cars stats side by side before we race, you can just pause the video right now, okay? Because we've got the stats showing side by side on the screen. Ah, 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 listen, wait, 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 wait. Before we race, let's do a convertible race as well, because how quick you can put these cars' roofs down does actually matter as well as their performance. You know, if you're at the lights or something like that, you simply want to put the roof down. That does matter. So here's the rules. When the starter starts the race, we have to then put our roofs down and they have to go all the way down and the windows have to go all the way back up again. Because remember, we're gonna be going at high speed so we don't want much wind buffeting. Once the windows have gone all the way up, you then launch. So what you wanna figure out is when your windows are going up, you're engaging your launch control, so you're good to go as soon as they have gone up. Nick, who's starting the race, hello Nick, hello, there in the stripy top. Nick will be acting as umpire. And if he sees someone leave, before their windows have gone up, he will disqualify them. And I've got a feeling one of those could be me getting disqualified because I'm a little bit um, excitable. And I know you two are, Sam, as well, aren't you? Only when Ian cheats and decides I lost for no reason. I'm still hurting over the last one. I'm so unhappy. Ian, don't even look at me. Don't even speak to me. If you want to see what Sam's talking about, you can follow the link in the description below for that video. Don't do it now, just remember, all right? And then go watch that after, because it's quite funny. It gets very bitter. One last thing, guys you have to have launch control engaged on your car screen or you'll be disqualified for that. And we will be checking the dial cams after the race to be sure. Three, two. Oh, stop. I can't believe it, right? I actually jumped the start for the roof race. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. That is so embarrassing. Go, 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 go. Oh, yes. Come on. Hello. Come on. That Mercedes is going quick. Oh, my God, it's looking good for the Mercedes. No. Come on, Audi. I've gone away. There was no traction. Okay, so uh, let's go to the BMW that came second. I want like that! My windows took an age to come up and then it did push through its brakes a little bit. But yeah, it came second by quite a way in the end. Sam, did your windows go down at all when your roof was doing its thing? They come down like an inch um, just to break the seal of the roof and then it all happens. But launch control stops the process happening. And, and then by the time it had fixed itself out, I ran out of launch control. And then when I put it back in launch control, it seemed to think it needed to go back up again. So yeah, that wasn't my finest hour. The best thing is, right, this car, I can launch it while doing the roof. <laughs> it's madness. Well done, Audi, I like that, actually. Shall we have a proper race? Three, two, one. 
Come on! <laughs> well, I'm not happy now, am I? <laughs> Mine was a lot more controlled that time off the line, but um, I was seriously expecting to be ahead of the Mercedes off the line, but he was there in front of me the whole time, annoyingly. I mean, my car just didn't launch at all. It spread up its wheels, the power just got killed, and that was the end of it. And I can't seem to launch it with the ESC off. Sam, I'm not entirely sure you're going to like this, but I'm going to launch from where you were. <laughs> This is just a perfect example of this. Are, are you getting all this, Adam? Good. <laughs> just keep changing the drag strip until you win. It's the old classic. See, the gamble is now, if I beat you again, you're gonna look like just... Whoa, the press is that in an Audi with a cap on, mainly. <laughs> I just wanna see what happens, all right? Is that okay? <laughs> Come on, BMW. Where's Sam? Oh, I was miles ahead. Come on. Sam, um, can I have my old place back? Because that was even slower. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> Three, two, one. Come on. Wow, terrible launch. <laughs> Come on. Come on! Come on! Use those ribs! Come on! Push! Woo! I won that! I was sideways for a good sort of 50 metres, so yeah, not good for me. I had a really bad start. That's the only reason you won, was my bad start. So I lost more than you won. I think that's the way we can phrase that. This is the final race. Whatever happens, happens, okay? Because this is just getting crazy, yeah? Let's do it then, final race. Three, two, one. Come on, quite try. Come on, Bimda. yes, it's hooked, it's hooked, it's hooked, it's hooked. Consistent, like, performer usually, Rory. Oh, Sam, what happened? It crabbed so hard off the line. You got a good launch, though. You took off good. Yeah, and then it got all four wheels spinning sideways and it just cut all power. <laughs> but we did say that was the decider. Yeah, yeah I won. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how. Now, before we do the rolling race, let's have a putting the roof back up race, because that really, really does matter, especially when the weather's like this. We won't be actually racing down the runway in this. We'll just put the roofs up and then honky horn as soon as your roof is up, okay? Keep your eye out for cheating, Nick. Three, two, one. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, look at all this. It's going to be steamy in here later.
You won that, Samuel. Bravo. Now, there may be a discrepancy in the legality of my roof oppidness, but in my defense, this has got a touch screen where you have to slide your finger across and hold it there. And when it was wet, it was a nightmare. So I was trying to preempt it. So we'll let it go to the judges, but I may have jumped the start. I believe I saw some flaps a flapping behind your side windows before my hand started moving. In that case, Sam, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to have to disqualify you from this. Oh. Poor Sam. He's disqualified. Aww. Totally worth it. <laughs> so what you're saying, it's a bit of an arse putting that roof up in that car. It's a bit confusing. Yeah, so you have to push this button that says brings up roof onto the screen and then you have to slide this thing across and hold it there for a second. But when it was wet and stuff, I, I don't know, is it um, capacitive touch or haptic? I don't know, but uh, it doesn't work very well in these conditions. Right, so you're telling me there's a physical button that doesn't operate the roof, it just brings up a menu on the screen which you then have to go to and then swipe? No, there is a physical button that does operate the roof, but not every time. Um, so, if you're getting <laughs> done in the wet, do you want to just go to the slider that doesn't work, or does work, or the button that you hope will work? Because it's one button for roof up and roof down, you can't toggle it left or right. So, if, does that make sense? It makes no sense at all, but shall we just get on with the rolling race? Do you know what, Sam? I want to be fair on you because I did switch sides, yeah? So, and you have won two races and I've won two in total. So let's just do a decider. Let's do it. Have you got an alternative strategy, Sam? I have turned all traction and TC mm -hmm. off. I am going to take it out of race mode because I can't hold mm -hmm. any brake and power to start with race mode on because it activates launch control and I'm just going to mm. let it wheel spin through the puddles and I think that might do a little bit better. And Ro Ray, what is your strategy? My strategy is the same as it's always been, launch control and then hope it hooks because when it does it's pretty good, when it doesn't it's very sideways. Okay, well let's see what happens. That hopped really well. Well, guys, you can't say I don't play fair. I gave everyone enough chances. Audi won, Quattro for the win. And first of all, Rory, did you come second? Or third? I believe I came second. That standing water is not pleasant at high speed. Sam, was it better? It looked better. It was better, but in all that time we were waiting, uh, there was more standing water. I actually nearly went on the green bit of the runway there that time, which is quite good fun. And that is a risk of turning your TC and ESC completely off, I guess. Yeah, but it's fun, isn't it? Well, there you go. Let's do the thing. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Audi won the final race. It completed the standing quarter mile in 11.7 seconds. The BMW took 12.3 seconds, while the Mercedes crossed the line in 12.4 seconds. Right, now we have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour with the cars just in their, their normal, automatic, chilled out settings. Three, two, one, go. Kick down, good. Come on, BMW. Oh, he's down. Everyone's gone. Oh no, I'm beating the Mercedes. I reckon I've got this. Oh my god. I can pass that BMW. Oh, it's gonna be close. Okay, Rory, so poof! That was close between us. You got off much better than me. Your kickdown was brilliant. But I was reeling you in. And I'm not sure whether I had you on the line or not. Yeah, this gearbox, wow. Bang down a gear, off it went. Um, yeah, I'm not sure who won because I was having to concentrate so hard. This car was moving around quite a lot on the water. But yeah, I have no idea. Samuel? Well, I had a very Mercedes executive kickdown. I reckon that was the softest, most efficient kickdown I've ever felt in a car. There was actually no jerk. It just progressively got quicker, which I guess is what you want in these cars. Not when you're racing them. It's not. Hence, you losing. So let's do it in manual mode in third. Take the gearbox out of it and see which ones pull hardest. I think it might not be this one. 
because I'm way down on tour compared to you guys. I'm going to win. And I really need a wee. So let's get this done. I'll be 30 seconds, OK? I'll be really quick. Can someone film Sam having a wee? He's gone to the bathroom. I reckon it's not just a wee. How's it going to be 30 seconds if you've gone to the bathroom? The stewards ruled that removal of ballast from any vehicle or driver is cheating and is subject to immediate disqualification. A few moments later. OK, then, let's do this. Rolling 30, third gear. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Come on, let's go. Come on. They've had me. Oh my god, look at Rory go! <laughs> Now I'm starting to pick him back up. You guys are shot off with your turbo talk and I can just see by Rory making the celebration gesture in his car. You had a little win there, didn't you, Rory? Yeah, I've been a good boy all day and watched you guys uh, drive off into the, not the sunset, into the clouds. But I won that one. Very happy. Oh, well done, Rory. Everyone, come on. Well done, Rory. Sam, even though you cheated by reducing the amount of ballast in your car by emptying your bladder, you didn't win. No, I, I thought this was going to have it. Um, and I even got very brave trying to cross the line and brake later. But yeah, fair play. Rory in a much more powerful car beat me. Well done, Rory. There's always a little like hint of just bitterness, isn't there? Just, just always a little bit. It's needed. Look at him. Look at that smug little happy face. You wouldn't believe he's 55. It's unbelievable. He's so youthful. <laughs> well, I didn't, you know your problem, Sam? You didn't wear a cap. I have a massive head and it just gets really accentuated with a cap. So I look so stupid in a cap. It's unbelievable. Now we're going to brake test from 100 miles an hour. When we reach the line, full emergency stop. Whichever car stops at the shortest distance wins. Let's see what happens. Let's put this down. Put that down there. Here it is. I'm just skating. Oh my life! Come on, baby! Not gonna lie, I was aquaplaning. <laughs> my car was so busy. There was lots of flashing lights. I won. It's so unpredictable, isn't it, though, when you've got bits of standing water and stuff. You hit a little bit of standing water when you're braking and it can have this much difference, can't it, Sam, as a professional racer? It absolutely can. You're in God's hands at that stage until the tyre can regain control of the contact patch. So, yeah, you are just waiting for any time of grip. I did soften all the way down to comfort mode in this car to make it as soft as possible. I don't know if you guys are in anything sporty. I hear that you always soften. Surprised you've got a child, really. Anyway, no, I can't adjust the suspension on this car, so it makes no odds. You can't adjust the suspension on your really expensive inverted commas supercar. That's confusing. No, you can't. It's pure, it's pure. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Click on those windows there for some more videos and on that box there to go to CarWay to compare these cars Quamar times compared to everything else we've ever drag raced. Don't worry, we'll put a little W next to their tires to notify that they were done in the bloody wet. Thanks for watching. <laughs>